Hi, this is Josh, Pharmacist with Pharmacist Tips. Today we're going to take a look at the iHealth Wireless Smart Glucose Monitoring System. Uh, the folks at iHealth did send me this meter for free. They, however, did not pay for the video, so this is my honest review uh, taking a look at the iHealth Glucose Meter. Um, when you first get it, it uh, does need to be charged. It has an internal battery that you do charge, so you can use this uh, micro USB cable plug it into the meter and charge it. While that's charging, we'll take a look at the Lancet device that comes with the glucose meter. Um, it does have a cap for alternate site testing. We're gonna look at the cap though for typical fingertip testing. So it has, this is how you charge the spring, which propels the Lancet forward. This is the button you push to send that Lancet forward. It does have a Lancet eject button and then twisting the top will adjust the depth of the lance. Uh, typically, I'm gonna, I set it in the middle and adjust from there. You can turn the top, grab onto it, and just turn slightly, then the top will remove. You put in a lancet, push it in until it's fully seated, twist the top off, replace, replace the cap, snap it back into place, Make sure the spring is charged, then it is ready. Uh, I typically do the side of the finger, but we'll wait till our meter is ready to do that. Next, you need to download the iHealth app and download the iHealth GlucoSmart app right there. All right, and so you wanna make sure you allow it to use Bluetooth um, and then you can choose if you would like it to send notifications. And you'll have to sign up to create an account. All right, sign your, sign up for account and then it'll go through um, and you can pick your birth date, and then you can put in other pertinent information. And then you pick up the glucose meter that you're using. This is the Gluco Plus. And once you've fully charged it, you can remove the Film, close the USB door, and you can power that on. And then on your phone, you can search for a device. All right. So, and then it uh, has the instructions right on it. So uh, it just tells you to insert the test strip and lance your finger. So it walks you through the process. There we're gonna go, we're gonna put in the test strip. I put it in upside down. So go ahead and put your test strip into your meter like it shows in the, on your apply the bud sample. So we have our Lancet device ready. We have washed our hands with <clears throat> warm soapy water and thoroughly dried them. We go ahead and lance our finger there's our drop of blood, and as shown on the screen. Oops. And there it is, testing, 102. And this actually was after lunch. I have just eaten. And it allows you to put any other pertinent information related to your glucose reading. And... Then you can hit the save button. Now after the test strip is done, you can use the eject button to eject the test strip and then properly dispose of it. Uh, your Lancet, you can dispose of. You can move the cap. I like to jab it into the top that we removed and then you use the Lancet eject button to remove that. So, Pretty simple there, pretty straightforward. 
We can reading after you have your meter set up. You just hit the measure button and make sure that is your glucose meter is on. You can see the Bluetooth button on. Now it's prompting us to insert a test strip. So go ahead and insert a fresh test strip. And follow the arrow to insert that. Then the app is telling us we can apply our blood. So with a new Lancet in the Lancet device, we'll go ahead and lance our finger. We will apply that drop of blood. There we go, 101. This is uh, very close to the same time I took the other one and it is still after launch. So we can save that and there you can see um, 12 minutes later, it's still within range. That's my blood sugar I would expect to be after launch. Um, and as you take more glucose readings, you'll have more uh, history in here to look at. Let me know if you have any questions. I will do my best to answer it. But if you're looking for a glucose meter with an app, this uh, seems to be pretty slick. It does appear that the readings are uh, pretty accurate. Um, I appreciate you watching. If you could, like this video uh, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.